This is a continuation of the previous video. We're going to do combinations and solve for n. This is 15.3b. We have eight previous videos for this chapter. If you haven't seen them and you become lost or confused, just click the description and watch them. And it's very important you saw the video before this one, which is also linked in there. When you see this NCR, it's read as combination of n things chosen r at a time. You can also read it as n choose r. You might also see it written in parentheses with the n above the r like this. It's n choose r. This was from our previous video. To solve for n, we use this theorem. The number of combinations of a set of n objects taken r at a time is n choose r is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. If you're lost right now, go back, okay? To start off easy, we can simplify 5 choose 3. We write 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial. If you watch from the formula here, you'll see that's the r, and it has to be r factorial down here. So we have 3, 3 factorial. Then we're going to do n minus r, which would be 5 minus 3. Well, 5 minus 3 factorial is a 2 factorial. We can write 5 factorial with a factor of 3 factorial. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. We can cancel them out as common factorials. What we're left with is 5 times 4 over 2 times 1. That's 20 divided by 2. That's a 10, okay? n choose 3 would be n factorial. We'd have a 3 factorial here for our r, and then n minus r would be n minus 3. We can expand the n factorial to have a factor of n minus 3 factorial. We write n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. We can cancel these out as common factorials, and what we're left with when it's simplified is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial. So that was just simplifying it as far as we could go, all right? So we can solve for n. Here we have n plus 1 choose 3 equals 2 times n choose 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this into two parts and we're going to start with the n plus 1 choose 3, okay? Following our formula, we have n plus 1 factorial over 3 factorial times n plus 1 minus 3, whoops, factorial. Okay? If we have n plus 1 minus 3, if we have a positive 1 and we take away 3, we're going to have a negative 2, aren't we? So we have n minus 2 here. See? And we can write n plus 1 factorial with a factor of n minus 2. We start with n plus 1, then we have n, then we have n minus 1, then n minus 2 factorial. We can cancel out the common factorials here, and we're left with n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 over 6. So we got that one out of the way. Let's do the second part, okay? We're going to do the 2 times n choose 2. So we can write 2 over 1 so that we can multiply straight across, right? Make it easier on our eyes. So here we've got n choose 2. So we've got n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 so that we have a factor with the n minus 2 factorial. See that? And we can cancel those out. So what we're left with is 2 n times n minus 1 divided by 2. We can cancel out these two, and we're left with n times n minus 1. Now we can put this one together with this one because they're supposed to equal each other. See? So here we have our n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 divided by 6 on this side because it was a 3 factorial, so it's a 6. And on this side, we have our n times n minus 1. Well, basic algebra, if we multiplied by the reciprocal of this, we'd multiply by 1 over n times n minus 1, wouldn't we? 
we get the same numerator and denominator on this side, so we have a 1. On this side, this n times n minus 1 would cancel out this n times n minus 1. See? And we'd be left with n plus 1 divided by 6 on this side. Well, if this is a 1 and this is n plus 1 divided by 6, in order for this to be 6, 6, that must be a 5. n must be a 5. See? Let's try one more. We can solve for n. Here we have n choose 3 is equal to n choose 1 times n minus 1 choose 1. We're going to break this into three parts. We'll start with this one first using our formula, okay, right here. We're going to have n factorial divided by 3 factorial times n minus 3 factorial for the r is a 3, see? That means we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial so that we can cancel out the common factorials here. That's going to leave us with the n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial. So now that part's done, okay? Now we can do the n choose 1. We have n factorial. Our r is a 1, so we have 1 factorial times n minus 1 factorial. This means we just have n minus 1 factorial because we're multiplying it by 1, aren't we? We can write the n factorial with a factor of n minus 1 factorial. We cancel them out as common factorials, and that leaves us with the n. So now we know this one is equal to n. Now we can do the n minus 1 choose 1. We have n minus 1 factorial, and our r is a 1, so we're going to have 1 factorial. And we need n minus r, so we have n minus 1 minus 1 factorial. This n minus 1 minus 1 factorial is n minus 2. If you have a negative 1 minus 1, it's going to be a negative 2. Now we have n minus 1 factorial over 1 factorial times n minus 2 factorial. This is going to be just n minus 2 factorial, isn't it? We're multiplying it by 1. So now we've got n minus 1 factorial over n minus 2 factorial. We can write the n minus 1 factorial with a factor of n minus 2 factorial, cancel them out as common factorials, and we're left with n minus 1. So now we can put these together. We've got this guy is equal to, see, it's equal to n times n minus 1. So, 3 factorial is a 6. So now, here we've got this is equal to this. We can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this one as 1 over n times n minus 1. That's going to give us the same numerator and denominator on this side, which means it's a 1, and on this side, this n times n minus 1 is going to cancel out that one, and we're going to be left with n minus 2 divided by 6. Well, if we want this to be 6, 6, so it's a 1, that's got to be an 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So n must be equal to 8. Okay? So just remember to use what we've learned all along in algebra about simplifying expressions like multiplying by reciprocals, dividing by coefficients, canceling out common factors. Okay? And that will help you. So I hope this helped a lot of people, and if it did, hit the like button, because that'll really help me out. Now we're going to talk about the binomial theorem, and n choose r as a binomial coefficient. That's lesson 15.4a. I hope you're doing all right, and I hope I explained this well enough, and keep trying. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.